Hey, thanks for tuning back. So I am back in Cough Drop and I just wanted to show you a few things. I wanted to show you how you can link a button to a board. But at first, before I do that, um, if you look at these um, buttons, the buttons with the highlighted right, the, if you look at the top right corner, the buttons that have kind of like a semicircle highlight, that tells you that it will bring you to another page. So I'm just going to demo. So if I hit I, there's no highlighted right side corner. I. So it's not going to bring you to another page. It's going to stay on that page. But if you look at me, which is another pronoun, if you look at me, you can see the upper right corner has like a highlighted semicircle. So if I click that button, it's going to bring me to another page. So this one, me, you can, it brings you to body parts, um, skull, brain, beard, uh, voice, uh, which is not a body part, but um, nose, back. So, and then it brings you to some other things like winking, yawning, um, pee and poop, <laughs> and fart and throw up, different things, <laughs> cough and sneeze. I hit the home board, my home. Uh, button to go back to home. So that's how you know if the buttons are in cough drop are going to open up to another page. So, for example, again, want is a very want. clear, but there's no highlighted um, corner, so it's not going to move, it's not going to transition to another page. But if I hit go, see if, if you look at go, the top right corner is highlighted semicircle. Go. That it's going to go to another page that is linked to. Go. You can hit go, the verb, and it will come back. But watch this. So if I erase that, and go. I go, it's going to bring me to that page. If I hit post office, it's going to come back as well. So we could do this if you want to make a sentence. If you want to go. If you still want the verb to be just go, it's going to bring you to this page, but then you can hit the verb go on the page, the, the linked page, and it will say go. go up in the message and bring you back to home. So you could do go to two, 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 sorry. And then if you want to hit go, again, go. it's not, it's not going to, it says go, but it's not going to put it in the message board. So you can then go, to, um, let's hit uh, restaurant. So then go to restaurant. You can hit go to restaurant. I mean, if you need, if you're working on, you know, if your kiddo has been working for a while and you want to be more grammatically correct, you can go. Go. And then go. Again, go. And then you can hit two. two a. a. And then go back to go on the home page. Go. And it's going to say it, but it's not going to put it up in your message board. And then you can hit restaurant. And then if. Just like most apps, if you touch go to a restaurant, it says the whole message. The other thing I wanted to show you in CoughDrop is how to link a button to a, another board. Sorry. So I'm hitting up on my top right corner of the profile, um, and I'm going to do exit speak mode. It's going to bring me into like an edit mode. So I can do, you can edit your board, and then, um, you can change the grid size. I'm not going to show you editing buttons. Like, well, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, let's say I wanted to link the word like, the button like, to a page. So I'm going to tap the button like, and it's going to bring up this menu. You can, button settings, you can change the button's picture. So if you want to change the picture, I guess I will show you this. If you want to change the picture to any of these, you can take a picture if you want to um, with the camera icon. And you can load a picture from your photo library. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't like to do that on the home page for sure. Uh, I like to have the symbols. And you can do other symbols like you can choose lesson picks symbols or you can choose ECS with board maker symbol six other symbols um, or the default symbols 
So I'm just going to make it simple here and do the default symbol. So let's say I wanted to change my like picture to this guy who looks like they really like something. Then I can use this. Apply plus green. Okay, so apply the regular skin tone and close. And there it's saved. Okay, so I changed the picture. If I want to go back and I want to, um, there's some other things you can do. You can go change the button's label. So, I mean, that's where you can write it a different word if you want. You can hide the label if you only want the picture to be shown. So, for some reason, I wanted that. Uh, and then you just save your changes. And then you can see that there's no word there. So, I do want the root word there. So, I'm going to edit again and I'm going to tap on the word again. And then I'm going to change the button's label and I'm going to unclick to hide the label. You can change the color, but I don't suggest doing that um, because these are also color coded for uh, vocabulary learning and fine motor. You can change, but anyway, you can. You can change the border color if you have a border. Um, you can hide the button from view. So if you don't want it there, you hide the button from view and then you close and then see how it's like kind of almost gone there. Then when you hit save, the button's gone. So that's how you hide buttons in CoughDrop. So if I wanted to hide um, anything else, like let's say I wanted to hide OK because we don't need to use it. I can hit edit and then I can tap OK and then I can go to change, uh, sorry, change button label, which sounds kind of strange, but and then hit the hide and close and then save and then you don't see it anymore. Okay, I'm going to bring those back. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to change buttons label and I'm going to unclick the hide and close that. And then I'm going to hit like and I'm going to change button label, unclick the hide and close. Just going to hit like again. So other things you can do with the button is change what the button speaks. So let's just say I'm not going to keep this, but let's just say I wanted it to say a message I like instead of just like. Um, then I can do that, and then I can hit close, and I hit save, and I need to turn it on speak mode. Sorry. I like. See how I did that? So because I typed the message in, it says I like, but the label stayed the same. I'm going to um, delete that, and then I'm going to go back into edit mode, edit board. I'm going to hit like again. I just want to show you the other thing. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to hit change really the button speak, what the button speaks. I'm just going to put like again because I don't want it to say anything other than like. Um, closed it. I'm going to tap it again just to show you. So you can link to another board, you can link to a website or a video, and you can hide the button, which is really good. So link to another board. So now, once you hit link to another board, it brings up the this other menu. You can find, you can do a new board that you can make by yourself, or you can find a board. So like maybe um, if I hit food and then search, it's searching for food boards. And these are the different food boards. So if I wanna connect it to core 60 food page, I can do that. And that gives you a preview. Do you like that or do you not like that? Let's say I'm gonna choose the board. I like that. Those are some things that my user likes. So I did that and you can see up where it says board under action, it says, now, so the action is open and linked to another board. The board is Avenia 2460 Foods. And then you can set that board, the, the food board, as a temporary home board when loaded, but I don't want to do that. Um, and then you can disable the linked action for now, but I don't want to do that because I want to show you what it does. Okay, so I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to hit save. So now I'm going to put it back in speak mode or else it's not going to give you the message. So I'm tapping speak mode. And then you see how now like has that upper right corner half semicircle or whatever that is <laughs> highlight. Once like. I tap it, look, it brings me to the food. And because I, I want to, I linked it to this food page. So now I can talk about how I like. 
Uh, burrito. Okay, and if you want to make a more grammatically correct sentence, you can do I, I like burrito. burrito. Okay, burritos. I like burrito, but anyway, you can work on the grammar. Okay, so I am going to just show you how you could link it to a new, um, your own board. So I'm going to go back and hit my my picture there and hit exit, speak, and then I'm going to go to hit edit. I'm going to go back to like. So then I want to just make my own board. So I'm going to link to another board and I'm going to do a new board. Let's just say I want to do like, uh, I'm just going to call it sports. I'm just totally making this up. Okay, sports. And um, see why is this not going down? Oh, there we go. So I can choose the number of buttons that I want on the sports page. So that's the number of rows, sorry. So let's just say I want six rows and let's say I want eight columns. And use the same license and access settings as are set for this board, create. So now if you look up under open link to another board where it says board instead of Abinia 20 in the foods, it says Abinia 20 in sports. Um, so I'm going to close it and then I'm going to save. And so I'm going to flip back into speak mode and then I'm going to hit like. So let's say I try. like. Now it brings me to this blank board that I made. There's a lot of buttons. I, I just chose the rows and columns just to show you guys. You can make it smaller, bigger, whatever. So then if I want to add a button, I'm going to hit my, my face there, go to exit speak mode, and I'm going to edit the board. And I'm just going to um, tap a button, a blank button. I'm going to change the button's picture. So let's say um, I want to do uh, baseball. I'm going to type in baseball. And I'm going to search and it brings up all these icons. So I'm going to do the diamond. I don't know. There we go. And then uh, what else can I change? I'm going to hit close. Oops. And then I'm going to hit it again. Sorry. I'm going to do change the buttons label. Um, so change the buttons label. So I'm going to hit baseball. Um, you can hide label and picture shown, but I don't. I want the label and the picture. Uh, and then you can change, so baseball, you can change the color of the button. I'm just showing you. I have to think about what that would be, but let's just do this one because it's cool color for now. I mean. You have to think about when you're coloring, you know, you do the color coding, um, find the fine motor, all of that piece that we always talk about. Um, but I'm just doing this just to show you that you can, I'll just leave the border black there, um, that you can change it around. And let's see, close. So there's baseball. Tapping it again, I just want to see what it says. Change what this button speaks. So it's not, oh, hold on. Put baseball via text to speech. Yeah. So I'm just going to type in baseball. Okay. And then I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to save so that I can just show you. I'm not going to do this whole page, but you could do all the other sports that you want to put in there. And then I saved it. And then I'm going to. Go back to speak mode. And that's my page. I'm going to go back to the home page. And remember, I linked it to like. So let's say, let's do a different pronoun. You, you like baseball. And then it brings you back. To you home. like baseball. Okay. So that is how you know which buttons link to another page. It's how you can, I just showed you how you can change the icon picture on the page in PopDrop, how you can change um, the message and keep the label, or how you can change the label, 
or how you can take away the ver the word if you just want the um, picture symbol. And then what else did I show you? How to link a button to an existing board or new board that already is created. And then I showed you how to link um, a page, a picture, a button to a new board that you created, that you can create. And then how to create a new button on right. that page, which was baseball. So that's, I think, enough for this video for now. And I'm going to do some more videos on Cough Drop. Uh, some more definitely this weekend. Uh, if there's anything you guys want to know about Cough Drop, or if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you liked it, please like, subscribe, or follow. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.